Hello and welcome to today's videos on understanding Windows Disk settings. In this video demonstration, we are going to see the what is the partition style, what is the disk type, and how to divide a partition or volume on a disk and how to format them. When we install Windows Server 2016 on a computer, the setup programs automatically perform all the preparation tasks for the primary hard disk on the system. However, when we install additional hard drives on a server, or when we want to use the different settings from the system defaults, we have to perform certain tasks manually, like uh, already we discussed, like the select a partition style or selecting a disk type and so on. So let's see the demonstration on this virtual machine and on this virtual machine already mounted one additional hard drives. So let's open disk management. And this is the first console. It's asking for initializing the disk. So first of all, this is about the partitioning style on your hard drive. Windows Server 2016 support two hard disk partition styles. First is the master boot record and the second one is the GUID partition table means GPT. You must choose one of these partition styles for your drive. You cannot use the both options at the same time. I'm going with uh, MBR. In future videos, we will discuss about the difference between MBR and GPT. But right now, I'm going with uh, MBR. So click on OK. Now, as you are seeing, the disk is currently online. Once you select the partitioning style, then the second steps, you have to select the disk type. Means which type of disk you want to use. Windows Server 2016 support two disk types. First one is the basic and second one is the dynamic. As you are seeing, our disk type is basic. So by default, when you initialize any disk, the time the disk will be basic. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to select this disk as a dynamic disk. Okay, so you want to convert to dynamic disk as disk 1 and click on OK. So, okay, so here's the basic, here's the dynamic disk. Okay, so in the third step, we have to create a certain partitions or volumes on our disk. Although many professionals use the terms partition and volumes interchangeably, it is correct to refer the partition on a basic disk and volumes on a dynamic disk. See, on uh, disk 0, we have a basic disk and that's why we have a partitions over here. So if I right click on it and that time, I get a only one option, new simple volume. But this is our dynamic disk and if we right click on it and that's, that time we will see certain new options are there like simple, span and so on. So in basic disk, there is a partitions and in dynamic disk, there is volume. Uh, already I created a three partitions on a disk zero, but if we want to see another partition, just right click on it and select new simple volume, specify the size. So for this demonstration, I'm going with a 50,000 MB, click on next, click on next, click on next and finish. So we'll understand all these options later on, but right now we are going with only the basic partitionings. And as you are seeing, I created one partition. But if you're coming back on a dynamic disk, I can just select new volume, click on next, let's specify the size 10244400, means approximately 100 GB. Click on next. Now we have to specify the file system. Uh, by using this file system, we want to format our drive. So it's by default NTFS and the allocation unit is default. Volume label will be new volume label. Click on next and click on finish. So as you are seeing, now the colors on this uh, partitions and volumes are different. Now as you are seeing here unallocated, this is primary partition which we have a three partition. One is uh, extended partition and this is the our extended partition and this is a free space and this is the logical drive and this is the last super volume. So when we create a partition that time we have to format the partition with a proper file system. Windows Server 2016 uh, support three file system right now. One is XFET, second one is the NTFS and third one is the REFS. This is the basic overview information about the Windows disk settings. In a future videos, we will first we will discuss about the difference between MBR and uh, GPT tables. Then next we will discuss about the uh, dynamic disk and basic disk and then we will discuss about the partitions and volumes in a future videos. So that's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.